Hey guys, welcome back to the Snap Change Media channel. It's me again, Brandon Jacobs. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, and if you haven't yet, please like and subscribe. It would really help us get some more cars, positive review, and more content. Yeah. So anyway, this week we are in the Aval, the all-new Aval, Jolien HEV hybrid electric vehicle. So the Jolien HEV is powered by a hybrid system that is petrol and electric motor. In the combination with the electric motor, it makes 140 kilowatts and a whopping 375 newton meters of torque. That feels really nice and the power is really quick. As soon as you put your foot down, the car goes. Let's just feel it. Ooh, nice. So the design of the HEV, uh, Jolien, the HEV Jolien, the thing that sets it apart, there is some design cues that set it, sets it apart from other Jolians, from the rest of the Jolian range, from the Sport, which is also new, and from the normal Jolian Comfort. Uh, the Jolian HEV features blue, some blue detailing on the LED lights, which I think is cool, and it also has more LEDs on the side than the other models. Uh, seat positioning is cool, but it has electronically adjustable seats. I think they look cool. Uh, the stitching also looks cool with the Aval branding on it. The HEV Jolien is priced between 550000 and 580000 which I feel is really uh, affordable considering what you get in. So all of the drive modes you can access and control from the infotainment system from the touchscreen. Uh, the, the intelligent driving includes lane keep assist, forward assist, traffic sign assist and rear side assist. Uh, the Jolien HEV is fit with cameras all around and it has a 360 view uh, which is displayed on the screen over here which is super super crisp and clear. I think it's even more clear than my phone. The Val Jolien comes in at 550,000. That's the starting price and then it goes up to 580,000. Uh, this has a huge panoramic uh, sunroof that brings a lot of light into the cabin making it look more spacious and just brings light in it, giving that modern vibe and fresh look to it. I really do like that. The sound system also sounds quite good. I think there is like eight speakers set up, some tweeters in front and the mid-range speakers in the doors and more mid-range speakers at the back. And the combination of the sound gives a nice full, full sound. The Julian has a ground clearance of 168 millimeters, which is fairly okay if you want to go off-road on some gravel. But you have to just be careful but you could easily climb up pavements and things like that. So the settings for the lights, the settings for your seat you can access here. This is the heater for your seat you can access on here. You can access the HUD. It was the heads up display. On the heads up display it shows you, well the speed of course, it showed you the limit that you're allowed to go to, the road limit. It also shows you the cruise control settings, it shows you following distance. And it shows you your lane keep assist. So all in all, I do think that the Val HEV is a really good package. I think that all of the uh, Jollians are good packages. Um, if it was up to me, I would probably just go for the standard Aval. But this hybrid really does have a lot of um, immediate torque thanks to the electric engine, which powers it on quickly and that 375 newton meters of torque is felt immediately and you get access to it as soon as you put your foot down. The car's dynamics and handling, it is okay. There is a bit of shudder when driving and the car does slip a lot when pulling away if you put your foot down fast. There is a bit of wheel spin. Also braking hard, it does skid a bit. I know it's a rainy day today but I did notice that the car does skid a bit and it's quick to brake and slide. But it does catch again, the traction control does kick in and then, but it does take that second. I think that the car is really well put together and the build quality is really good. The compartments however, each individual compartment does have a bit of a cheaper feel to it. But it is well put together. That's how it feels. The Val is a really good car and it's really well put together for the price that the uh, Chinese guys are coming in and giving this for people, especially us in South Africa, I think it's amazing. 
So this is the top speck of all Julian and it's kitted out so nicely. There's so much driving assistance, so much um, spec added onto it. I mean with the LED headlamps, LED DRLs, uh, leatherette seats inside. It has adjustable seat, heated seat, um, dual climate control. I mean you can change everything on the settings from your intelligent driving, lane keep assist, forward assist, ride side, ri rear side assist and traffic light signaling assist. Uh, the car is kitted out and the price is really really good. So let's see how it handles on this gravel path over here. Not bad. Oh, a bit of shadow over there. So the digital display over here is really clear and everything is displayed quite nicely. It shows here once you let off accelerator how the electric the petrol engine is recharging the electric motor. All of the driving assistance and the controls for most of the functions of the car is all over here in the infotainment system, the touchscreen infotainment system that is I think it's 12.3 inches like most of the screens but anyway so you go like home to the home screen you select the by the motor vehicle and then over here you see intelligent driving this lane keep assist which I think is activated right now let's see lane keep functioning that's on so it is on right now it's quite rainy so I'm not sure about the visibility of the lanes but over here the green lines as you can see it does show that you it also shows on the heads up display unit which I think is cool this heads up display unit is also really clear the Jolene comes with a lot of driving assisting aids uh, and they all are packed in this in the infotainment touchscreen system over here where you can switch it on or off like the lane keep assist uh, the braking assist the rear parking assistance and all of those things we can check it out you just go into the home screen click by the vehicle over here and there you can see intelligent driving lane keep function and the comfort setting driver settings hod settings uh the hod also is really clear and it displays your speed also shows your cruise control and the lane keep assisting and the side mirrors also detects when there's someone in your blind spot which is very very cool and it helps you a lot so right now the lane keep assist is on and i'll activate the cruise control as well and i'll set it to 70 and active following distance in is also on adaptive cruise control i'll set the adaptive cruise control right now and i'll set it to about 78 the speed limit also shows over here it's 80 which you can also set in the screen over there Okay, so let me activate it. Oh, it's activated. Yeah, we can just leave it on. I'm doing nothing. My feet is also not doing anything. I'm just cruising in traffic. Trust in the Julian. The HEV. Chinese. Chinese brains. And over here, with the pressing this car button, I can change the following distance. Get closer to the taxi in front of us or further from it. It's the rain, so I'll stay a bit further, stay safe following distance.